A big topic recently is health care, health care in Ecuador. So let's see what options we have. In the last year, there's been some law changes on healthcare in Ecuador. I'm not going to be specific here because I'm not a lawyer and I don't want to mislead you. I'm giving you the information so you can dig deeper and find out the true information. First of all, if you're coming to visit Ecuador, now this may be on a beyond the 90 day visa, but it may be the tourist visa for six months, but I don't know that. So if you're coming to visit, you're required to carry health care that will work in Ecuador. Now there's travel insurance you can buy relatively uh, inexpensively from what I understand, but if you're coming, you, you definitely want to look into that. You don't want to be turned away at the airport because you don't have uh, certain requirements. Now if you're here as a resident, then you have another issue. Here's your options for health care. They have an IESS system. It's essentially, it's a socialized medicine tied into a social security program. If you came here as a resident in the past, for the most part, you were going to spend about $80, little less, for full coverage on the government system. It just increased to about 20% of your income, which if you come here as a resident and you're drawing Social Security for um, say $1,000, then it's going to be almost $200 for that health care that you were paying $80. So a lot of people are upset about that, but it's a percentage basis and what they've done is they've tried to match it up with what citizens here pay based on their income. Uh, the reason you have so many uh, gringos upset over this is it's their social security and so they're not really seeing it as income and they're seeing it more as a savings payment and it's limited and they can only live on you know so much. It's capped off. But Ecuador is calling that income as though they were <clears throat> working and receiving that and so there's right now there's you know a lot of hard feelings misunderstandings but here's the bottom line you have a socialized medicine program and like always with these kind of programs including in the u.s and other places it runs up against the wall with increasing costs it's it's extra expensive it's more expensive than in the, in the private sector because there's essentially no real competition. And so here they've supported it mostly by borrowing money. And you can only borrow so much. And so now they're running into the problem of trying to sustain this program. And so they're going to be looking for any way that they can. You're going to see increases, you're going to see services cut back, you're going to see all the things that go along with this kind of program. Now you do have the option of private insurance. And private insurance so far has been around the $100 range or a little less for, for a person. The government is putting rules on them that's actually driving up the cost. In other words, any way that they can drive more people to their government system they feel the better it is for them. But it, what it's essentially doing is making the private insurance almost unaffordable. Um, and this has all just happened. So if you're coming to Ecuador because of the cheap health insurance, um, you want to think again on that. You want to look into the detail. There's good feedback on the government system and there's also a lot of terrible feedback. Now, I have a friend whose mother is a diabetic. She also needs an operation. And so every week she's making appointments and going to another person and another person. It's instead of being able to go in and get things set up, this is 
months and months process. The operation has been put off to seven months down the road. It's a bureaucratic government system and getting approvals and seeing another person for you know this category and for that category and lining things up it's it's a nightmare so there's good with it there's bad with it i never got it because i actually don't need it i have uh, veterans coverage and if anything ever bad happened i can uh, get flown into a veterans hospital they don't have one here but um, you know i can get shoved on an airplane and I keep money aside for an emergency. You don't want to be sick in a foreign country and not be able to afford it. Right now, the most affordable thing is, is actually just paying cash with a doctor. I have a doctor. Um, he'll actually make house calls, but uh, it's I go see him. It's $20. Uh, he's, he's from the U.S. He, he was born here, but he spent most of his life in the U.S. He was, his medical training was in the U.S. He's a very good doctor. He came recommended, and I can see why. He really knows his stuff. And so you've got that. You, you also, you don't have to go to a doctor every time you need a prescription with a few exceptions. Most medications you can just walk in and get. Um, now, I know antibiotics in Cuenca they, they now require you to get a prescription, but here in the town I live in, which is just 20 miles south, you can actually walk in and get, um, get antibiotics if you want. So paying out of pocket is really the best way to go for your basic things. Now, if you have some kind of emergency, you could be running into thousands of dollars. If you have that back, that's okay. If you don't, then you need to make some sort of plan. In the United States, it's been a policy forever that if you go to a hospital and you have something serious going on, they really can't refuse care. Uh, the most they can do is send you to another hospital because they're too crowded, but essentially you get some kind of care. That isn't the case in most countries in the world. If you don't have money and if you don't have coverage, you can get kicked to the curb. Um, so make your plan. If you're not aware of the changes in the in the health care, you want to make sure that you you make yourself aware, you look these things up because almost all the information you're going to see out there is old information. This is all just now kicking in. Good luck. You know you could.